Okay, so this is Justin Davey driving along uh, in his Mercedes E350. Um, I'm doing a little test today just to see how my new DB Power EX 5000s work, um, along with my Sony A7S um, recording into the uh, Atomos Ninja Blade. Um, it's a first attempt at trying some different camera angles in the car. I'm well aware that the camera seems to be wobbling quite a little bit and that's probably because I'm probably pushing the weight limit of my windscreen mount because I've actually secured the Atomos Ninja Blade to the top of the camera. So with the Tikina 11-16 lens as well it's probably a little bit heavy. Um, so we'll see what happens, we'll see what it's like. It's also a little bit difficult because I've got the camera mounted upside down. Um, so it's a little bit difficult to see what the framing is like. Looking at the screen below, it looks okay, um, but it might not be great. Um, I've also got a couple of the DB powers in the car as well. Um, I've got one secured up here on the sunroof looking out, so hopefully she can get some road angle as well looking forward. And I've also uh, managed to clamp, because I've, I need to get some more suction mounts, I've managed to clamp the um, other... Nin uh, other DB power camera to the side of the car looking um, out of the right hand uh, rear seat window so that might be interesting so I just thought I'd do a very quick drive around the block just to see what this works like um, it might look awful um, I might try a different lens on the A7S um, at the moment as I said I'm using the Tikina 11-16 which on a full frame camera you can only use from about 15 millimeters onwards so it's at its end of its focal range um, at 16 millimeters but looking at the screen below it does look pretty wide so i might get away with putting the camera closer or i might get away with actually um, using a different lens maybe the 24 to 105 i'm just a bit conscious because the 24 to 105 is a little bit heavy so it might not actually work particularly well and it might be a little bit too heavy for the mount but it seems to be coping it hasn't fallen off the windscreen yet um, nor has the other suction mount which i've got on the sunroof looking forwards and i don't think also i haven't heard anyway the other db power camera fall off the uh, rear coat hook thing so i have ordered another couple of um, suction mounts only about four pounds each off amazon so that will enable me to hopefully secure the cameras um, into some more interesting positions around the car. The reason I'm doing this is because when I pick up the new Cayman 718 in March, I want to be able to do quite a few different reviews of the car. So this is just a bit of background research, make sure the sound's okay. Looking at the meters on the Atomos, the sound looks fine. Um, I'm not monitoring on headphones, so I hope I haven't got any buzzing going on. Um, so yeah, hopefully, that's working okay. It's a lovely sunny morning. Sunny morning in Nottingham. Um, how warm is it? It's eight and a half degrees, which isn't bad considering it's November the 13th, 2016. Um, but it'd be interesting to see, see how the camera um, works. And does it wobble too much? Problem with these lenses certainly when I use them with the Comlite adapter, any image stabilisation I've got on the lenses don't work particularly well. But that will be something interesting to try. Maybe I'll try the 24-105, which has got IS on it, and we'll see how that works. Hopefully, because I'm at a 16mm focal length, you're not going to see too many bits bouncing around. Um, but yeah, so... Hopefully this is edited together okay. I'm shooting on uh, in S-Log2 on the A7S um, and obviously on the DB power cameras you're very restricted. They're very contrasty images. So hopefully in the edit, by the time you're seeing this, I will have been able to grade them down a bit and, and try to get them to match reasonably well with the A7S. Um, <clears throat> so that's it for today. Um, comment below, see what you think. Um, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.